Fuel queues returned to filling stations in Abuja following President Bola Tinubu's inaugural speech that hinted fuel subsidy is gone as no provision is made beyond June this year. Kabir Lowell reports that Nigerians are now calling on the new president not to make life difficult for the people. His report. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in his inaugural speech on Monday said subsidy is gone. This prompted filling station to stop selling thereby creating long queues in stations belonging to Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited. Abuja residents called for caution in handling the full subsidy situation as any price hike will only worsen an already difficult situation. The country is not yet ready for this because before you remove subsidy, I'm sure they're supposed to have made some plans on the late plans of empowering, especially the youth. There are a lot of people that are not working, even the workers. Imagine someone earning less than 50,000. How can that person cope in this particular situation that we are in? The country is not yet ready. I'm sure he can do it and then with the way I know him, he is someone that cannot be easily bended. He is someone that people cannot confuse him anyhow like that. So I believe with his promises, I, I believe he will fulfill it. Commuters also express fear that the subsidy removal will only make fuel available, but resultant price hike will certainly affect transport fare and price of essential commodities. It will affect a whole lot of people. It will affect the transportation because with the, um, the low-income earners, it's not too easy for us. Coming from our homes, well, okay, today I was living in the house. There was no vehicle. I came today, okay, this is where I work. I want to buy fuel. No fuel. The finisher is closed right now. No fuel. I was able to buy a jai, but I had to struggle. People were even fighting. You understand? So, what other, if, if we can tackle this thing, because apart from the fuel thing, people are hungry. People are starving. People are dying. No, but like, we, we just, people need help. People, people are so heavy. For now, the queues remain and car owners struggle to get fuel even though the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Agency have assured Nigerians of availability of the product. Kabir Lawal, Trust TV News, Abuja.